Hey guys, what is going on? It is Colin from CSP Tech here, and I'm gonna show you guys today how to clean your keyboard. Where the hell did my... Really, dude? Really? Are you that retarded? Give me that. <sighs> Idiot. I'm gonna show you guys how to clean a mechanical keyboard. So let's get into it. All right guys, so all joking aside, um, I'm gonna show you guys a quick and easy way to clean your keyboard. You don't need all that much stuff, although some people recommend like pullers and stuff like that. I'm gonna show you guys kind of what to do, but all you'll need in this one is really a can of compressed air, a keycap puller, and a sink. And I'll show you guys exactly what to do when we get over there. Let's change up the camera and I'll show you guys a closer look. All right guys, so I hate to do this, but I'm gonna show you guys my keyboard. As you guys can see, all the keys are pretty oily and you'll notice there's a lot of dust on my keyboard. There's a lot of dust in between the cracks and everything around the keys. That's because there was some construction going on um, above my room. Um, there's like a part where my dad just cut off part of the roof because he had to get into it when we were doing the kitchen. So it's full of dust, it's full of crap. So, and it's just generally really oily. So I'm gonna show you guys how to clean it. Uh, we'll switch the camera again. I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at my keyboard. We'll switch the camera to the sink and I'll show you guys exactly what to do. All right guys, so another thing you'll need for this step is some paper towel uh, just to clean them up after, but I'll show you guys what we're dealing with right now. So for the keys themselves, I'm just gonna tilt you guys over here. You guys can see I have a sink which is very lukewarm water, like not even hot, not just barely warm. Um, you just want it to just have enough heat in there just to kind of remove some of the grease and stuff like that. I put a little bit of soap in here and uh, that way it's just all mixed up. But uh, what we're gonna do next is we're actually gonna pull the keycaps off and then I'll show you guys what to do with the rest of the keyboard. So we're gonna pull the caps off. Remember when you're doing this, big point to mention, remember exactly what orientation your keycaps are in um, and where they are. So if you guys have, need to take a picture, that's probably a good idea. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that right away. So take a picture so you can see exactly which key, key goes where, and then uh, yeah, you should be good to go. So let's pull them off. All right, now that my pictures have been taken, uh, I'm gonna grab my keycap puller here. And if you guys have never taken off mechanical keyboard switches, it's really easy, at least for Cherry MX, all you do, is you just kind of pop down here, right underneath the keycap, and just pull straight up. So you'll notice you pull the keycap right off, and uh, I'll do a really close close up here on B-roll. You just pop it off, and it's really, really easy. Um, you don't need to worry about it, so that is super easy. If you guys are using kale switches or other types of switches, be careful, because you can actually reach in and pull the switch up from the board, so just be careful of that. But uh, yeah, so start pulling them off, and we'll be good to go. All right guys, so I'm about halfway through here and I just wanted to mention something really quick. For the bigger keys, um, you're just gonna wanna watch out for that because you're gonna have to grab it from the side, but just be careful when you're pulling off. Actually, that one was the same size, but some of them, like the, uh, actually, let's see if the shift is like it here. Yeah, here we go. So you'll see the shift has a bunch of different um, standoffs. So you're just gonna have to watch out for that uh, when you're pulling off big keys. They should just pull off the same way the regular ones do, but just be careful just to make sure you don't snap anything. If you guys have an older keyboard, you might have like a, a metal crossbar going across. Just make sure you watch out for that. And there's different ways of pulling those off. All right, now for the spacebar and shift, I believe my keyboard is essentially the same, uh, but I'm just gonna pop them up from the sides here. Yeah, there we go. There's no metal bar in it, it's just two switches, so. Um, yeah, just make sure you pull it evenly up, and then I think the shift to do the same thing. Now that you have space with it, you just pull it up evenly because you don't want to rip it. And you just kind of pop it right off, and there you go. All right, guys, so as you guys can see, we've officially pulled everything out here, and you guys can see this keyboard is absolutely disgusting. Um, I'm kind of ashamed that it, I let it get to this point. Um, and it may not seem so bad on camera, but I'm sure once I zoom in, you guys will see it's pretty, pretty gross. So I'm gonna toss this aside for a second, and I'll show you guys what to do with that after. But for this, for now, these guys here, I'm just gonna pan the camera over, don't mind the dishes over there. Um, these guys, literally, all you're gonna do is you're just gonna bring them right into the sink. Bloop. So like I said, make sure that it's nice and warm water. Um, it's not super, um, make sure that it's not super hot. And you're just gonna dunk them in. Give them a quick rinse. And then I'm gonna go ahead and scrub most of these with a cloth, um, and that way I get most of the oil off of it. But what you're gonna wanna do is either, there's option, there's always this option, or use uh, rubbing alcohol, like a, an isopropyl alcohol or something like that. Get rid of the oils on it. I'm gonna go ahead and do this, and I'm going to wash them and scrub them, and then we should be good to go. And then I'll show you guys what to do with uh, 
those guys afterwards. All right, so now you guys will notice your water is pretty murky. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse out the water, let it come back up. You can see the oil all in the water. So I'm gonna rinse it out, redo it, put some new soap in, and then I'll, I'll let it wash again because they're still pretty oily. So I'm gonna do that right now. Make sure, a quick mention to point out when you're pulling it up, don't pull it straight up so you don't lose any keys. I'm just gonna let it sink out through the bottom a little bit. And then I'll re-put some new soap and some new water in it. All right, so we're gonna re-rinse and put some new, oh, that's really hot water. <laughs> Careful about that. And then we're gonna put some new soap in it and then we should be good to go. All right, so I put a little bit more soap this time just to try and um, get a little bit more into it. So this one, what I'm gonna do, since I've scrubbed them down, they're all just gonna sit here. I'm gonna let them go and I'll let them sit for a little while so they're like quite a bit of time and I'll let them just kind of soak up and then I'll pull them up and dry them up. But I'm gonna show you guys what to do with the rest of the keyboard in the meantime. All right, so we're outside now and I'm just gonna show you guys what to do because this keyboard is pretty, pretty gross. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna try and get the most off of it. And I do recommend doing this outside because it's pretty, pretty gross in here. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna grab some compressed air and as it's upside down, you're gonna try and not move the can too much because I just blasted it with cold air. What you're gonna wanna do is as it's upside down, you're gonna wanna try and hold it and blast off most of the stuff without actually um, getting moving the can because then you'll get some stuff that comes out and you don't want that. So you just want literally compressed air coming out and just wash off most of the, whoops, and wash off the worst of it. If you do spray it by accident, it's not too big of a deal. Just try not to do it. You're gonna wanna let it sit anyway. So I'm gonna do this really quick and I'll be back. All right guys, so that's looking a lot better already, but the thing is some of the cracks, stuff that's still in there, uh, if the compressed air doesn't get to it, go grab yourself like a microfiber cloth or like the, uh, some of the other reviews I've seen, uh, the cleaning processes, they grab like a, a sponge, like a cleaning sponge, and it'll just kind of like, it's like a goop and you kind of squish it in. Um, I'm gonna use this because the dust is on there pretty good. So uh, I'm just gonna give it a brand, this is a brand new keep, uh, microfiber, keep in mind. But I'm just gonna give it, get off most of the dust at least, and then I'll see if I can get it in between the keys. I'm just gonna run this through here and get off the worst of it. And that way, it's nice and clean again. This would be a little bit easier with the goop, I'm realizing now. <laughs> but uh, at least you can do some stuff, get the worst of it off, because I had a lot of dust everywhere. So I'm gonna get the worst of that off. Let's see if I can get, I can get the most of it off. See, most of it's coming off, so there we go. So make sure this is a clean microfiber though. You don't wanna be putting more dust or a duster on here or anything, so yeah. So once this is done, we'll go back to the next, we'll go back inside and I'll show you guys the rest of it. All right guys, so we are back. Um, we're back from outside and this is a lot cleaner than it was. Obviously it's not gonna be perfect because I don't have that goop, um, but it's gonna be a lot better than it was. All, most of the big stuff is gone. A lot of the small stuff is gone. I'm gonna go through here with a Q-tip and just kind of get rid of most of the stuff um, as well. So for this stuff here, these ones here, I'm gonna let them sit for a couple hours at least. I'm gonna hang out with a friend uh, for a couple hours. So I'm gonna probably do that and then I will come back in another part of the video um, in the same part, but you guys will see it as a separate part. And I'm just gonna let them sit for a little while in the soap. And then when we're ready, I'll come back and get them. So there we go. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys when that is ready. All right guys, so here we are. Um, we're back, we've been sitting for quite a while now. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out the keycaps and then we'll drop them on the paper towel. And we're just gonna give them a quick shake before we pull them off. But essentially what you're gonna do here is you're just going to let them sit and you're definitely gonna wanna make sure they're dry and not soapy uh, before you put them back on your keyboard. So you're gonna wanna let them sit here, sit here for quite a while actually. Um, and then you should be good to go. So I'm gonna grab the rest of these guys and I'll be just a second. All right, so now that we have all our keycaps here, we're gonna make sure that there's not much soap left on them because that's not really gonna help us uh, in the long run. So I'm just gonna wipe these guys off as much as I can. I'm gonna kinda push them out of the paper towel as I do it. Um, and then I'm going to grab some more paper towel. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna grab a, so there's still a lot of soap in here, unfortunately. So maybe I should have rinsed out the soap a little bit. You know what, I'm actually gonna rinse them off really quick and then I'll, I'll do this. All right, so I gave them a quick, uh, quick rinse and now we're gonna use a proper towel this time. That way we can get rid of most of the stuff here. So I rinsed them all off. And so now they should be no more soap on them, which is good. And so I'm just gonna put these guys all on here and we're gonna dry them off. And then we're gonna let them sit for like quite a while. So I'm gonna dry these guys off as best as I can. 
And then once these guys are off, and as I'm just going to point out something. Some of you guys might be commenting and goes, oh, you didn't use isopropyl alcohol. It's not going to work as good. Uh, you're not really actually going to get some stuff off. And no, that's true. Um, th but in my case here, um, obviously in my case, I was just a little bit of oil on top. There wasn't really gunk or crap on them. So I didn't really have to go that extra route. I mean, you can if you want to, but this was mostly just like a quick cleaning more than actually just, you know, like scrubbing everything down. So that was kind of why I just decided just to rinse them down, use some soap, get the most of it off. There'll still be some left, but if you guys want to do like a really thorough cleaning, I'm going to link a video down in the description. I believe Kyle uh, from Awesome Sauce Network, um, I believe he did it really well. So I, I can't remember if he actually did the isopropyl or not, but I know he cleaned his keyboard. So I'll link that video down below and uh, you guys can go check that out. But yeah, so you're just going to let these wash up. So most of these are, um, for the most part, like most of the water's off of these, but now you're just going to want to let them sit. So you're going to arrange them in a fashion. Um, whoops, I just bumped the camera. So you're going to want to probably put them caps up and that way uh, the insides dry out. And you're going to let them sit for almost a day actually until you know they're perfectly dry because you don't want to be putting wet components on your keyboard again. So you're going to sit them up like this and then you're just going to let them dry for like a day. And then when you're ready, you come back, you put them back on your keyboard and you have a clean keyboard, my friend. That was all it took. I believe this is a tech syndicate cap. Yeah, <laughs> it's the only black one in the bunch. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to come back when these are perfectly dry and then I will show you guys the final conclusion. And that should be pretty much it for cleaning your keyboard. So I'll see you guys at that point. I'm just gonna see if I can finish this here. Ha 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 ha. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys when that video, uh, when the next part of the video is ready. See you guys then. All right, we're back guys. Um, it is now the next day. I have let the keycaps dry up. I flipped them over uh, overnight and then let them dry again. So they're good to go. They're all dry. And I just wanted to make a quick point to mention, uh, I have my laptop here. I was just doing a little bit of research yesterday. It was actually Paul's hardware that did the video on keyboard cleaning, not Awesome Sauce Network. Kyle did the video on the ear pads. And for some reason I thought he'd done the, uh, the keyboard as well, but it was actually Paul's hardware. So I'll leave that link in the description so you guys can go check that out. So what I'm gonna do for this part is I'm going to bring the camera in a little bit closer. I'll re-put in all the keys and then we'll, uh, we'll come back for the final conclusion. All right, so as you guys can see, I have my keyboard picture up here, of the picture I took beforehand. So you just gotta match all the keys and make sure that it's good to go. So let's get to it. All right, so for the keycaps themselves, if you guys aren't familiar, they just pop right back down like they would have. Um, when you pop them off. So you just put them on, push it straight down, and it's already on there. So you're good to go. Just be careful with it. If it feels like it's forcing at all, don't force it. Um, it should slide in pretty easily. Um, so yeah, and uh, that's pretty much it. All right, so I've actually found my first problem and with the last key. And I realized, I was about to say, this is probably the worst possible way to do this uh, because I just did it haphazardly. But you guys noticed I missed uh, some of my keys here. So these guys all have to move over. So this guy here, this one has to move over. P has to move over. And then O has to move over and has to make way for the I. So just be careful. I'm surprised I didn't actually run into more problems than that. Um, that was just because I was going fast. So, word to the wise, don't do what I do. Do as I say, not as I do, is always the classic thing. So there we go. So, all our keys are back on here. Um, so what you're gonna do is make sure, either reference it with the picture again, or just go into your keyboard, type in A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then if you get there and you look your, uh, your line of text and something's wrong, you'll know it pretty fast. Like the, the controls here, I don't know if they're the same size, they might be different on either side. The Windows keys, you can switch them up. Um, all these guys here, it definitely feels a lot cleaner though. So um, it doesn't feel like it has the oils on it anymore. Obviously they're gonna build up pretty fast as well, but mine didn't have that many, so it wasn't that big of a deal. But that's gonna be pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Hopefully you guys learned something here today. Um, and if you guys wanna see more videos like this, DIY, cleaning PCs and stuff like that, uh, how to clean a laptop keyboard, let's say, or something like that, just let me know. Um, and I will just leave, a, uh, leave me a comment down below in the comment section. And that is going to be pretty much it for the video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.